you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. So, you know Hades, right? Never leaves the underworld, like, never. But yesterday, I saw him come out. And I heard from someone else that he met Persephone. Oh my god, that's Demeter's freaking daughter, Persephone. As in, the mommy's little girl that we went to kindergarten with. And apparently, when he first saw her, he instantly fell in love with her. I mean, it's very weird since he's probably like a thousand years old. So Hades did what every brother did, and he went to Zeus. Zeus. Which is, again, weird, because I thought they hated each other and had like a big battle to be the top god, and Hades lost, so now he's like the under god or whatever, but anyways. Word has it that Zeus made a promise to Hades that he would marry one of his daughters. Which is not weird at all, right? I mean, Hades is going to marry his niece. Apparently, it's okay and completely normal when you're a god, and there's only like a handful of people that you can end up with anyways. So, Hades, who is now like this little boy with three wishes from a genie. You get three wishes, they must begin with rubbing the lamp and saying, I wish. Got it? Up, I promise you there's not enough money and power on earth for you to be satisfied. Good? So, what's your first wish? That, that he wanted to marry Persephone, like, duh, what were we expecting? Hades, deep down, knew that Demeter, you know, missed overprotect mother, would never let Persephone marry him. I mean, he's the god of the underworld. Usually, I would think Demeter's being overprotective, but I mean, in this case, it's literally what any mother with an inch of common sense would do. And Hades was heartbroken. I know, right? He has a heart. Then he decided that it would be a wonderful idea to hatch a plan with Brother Dears to marry Persephone, who probably had never even seen him before. The next day, Demeter went down to Earth to do whatever an agriculture god does and left Persephone with some sea nymphs. Zeus, The mighty Zeus, king of the gods and ruler of Mount Olympus, hardly needs an introduction. Who's like the top god, so obviously he knows all the information knew that the nymphs would never let Persephone out of their sight because, I mean, who wants to make Demeter angry? They are not planning to become a grain of wheat anytime soon. So you would never guess who he asked for help. I'm serious, guess, because it's so crazy. He asked Gaia for help. Gaia, Mother Earth, ancestral mother of all life. So Gaia decided to put an enchanting Narcissus flower near Persephone. This was mine, what once was mine. Which made Persephone wander away because the flower was apparently so beautiful that she could not resist it. And Hades, being Hades, had to have a little dramatic kidnapping. So he decided to make the ground underneath Persephone crack open. So she would fall in and onto his chariot of black horses and Take her to the underworld. You know, Summer really needs to teach Hades how to flirt because that is not how you get a girl. Oh, and you know Cyan, the nymph we met last week? Well, we're not gonna see her again. I mean, she was so sad that she couldn't protect Persephone that she cried herself a river. Literally, there's a river called Cyan now. And Demeter got really mad, obviously, and cursed all the nymphs into sirens. So that's just great. Now we have no one to hang out with at the beach. The craziest thing is just this morning, I got a text saying that Zeus had Hermes go get Persephone back. Honestly, Zeus is such a backstabber. I mean, whose side are you on, dude? Apparently, Persephone now loves Hades and was happy in the underworld. I mean, who needs a big mansion when you've got the living dead, am I right? I heard that he built her a beautiful garden and is allegedly nice to her. I didn't know Hades could be nice. And now Hermes and Persephone are going to Mount Olympus. This is so crazy. Like, what do you think is going to happen to her? Anyways, this is all the tea I have for now, ladies. But I think I'm going to ask Dionysus what happened. I mean, he's always wine drunk anyways. But honest to the gods, I don't think Persephone and Hades are such a bad couple. I mean, have you seen Aphrodite and Hephaestus? Oh, I really gotta go now. I don't want to miss my chariot to Olympus again. I mean, you know how much Hermes hates giving rides to mortals. Anyways, toodles.